In this video, you will learn how to install PyPDF2 library in the Visual Studio Code Editor. And do hit the like button if you find this video useful. Now the prerequisite for this installation is that you need to have this Visual Studio code and the python installed into your system. And in case you do not have the python installed into your system, then I have already created a separate video for that. And you would find the link of that video in the description below. So once we have the Visual Studio and the python installed, we will open that python project in Visual Studio for which we want to install pypdf2 library. And for that we will click on this file here, then click on this open. And now we will navigate to the location where our project is present. So for me it is present inside the downloads folder. So I will go to the downloads folder, then projects and here I will click on this pypdf2 project. Now finally I will click on open. Now before installing pypdf2 we will create a virtual environment for this opened project because it is recommended to have a separate virtual environment for each of the python project so we will also create the virtual environment first and after that only we will install the pypdf2 library inside the created virtual environment but in case you already have the virtual environment for your project then you can skip the creation part and directly activate that and after that you can install the pypdf2 library inside the activated environment so now to create the virtual environment first we will open the terminal and for that we will click on this terminal then select this new terminal and now in this terminal we will type python3 space minus m space venv space and now we will give the name of the environment which we want to create so let's say this is my env so this command is for mac system but in case you are using windows then you would see the command on screen now we will hit enter to execute this particular command and once this command is executed successfully we will see this my env folder which is created inside our project folder and this my env folder will have all the necessary libraries and scripts in it now we will activate this created environment and for that we will write source space my env slash bin slash activate now again this command is for mac os and for windows you would see the command on screen let's hit enter now and as soon as this command is executed we will see this my env within these brackets so this is the indication that this particular environment is currently active now finally we will install the pypdf2 library in this activated virtual environment and for that we will type pip3 space install space pypdf2 and once this is installed we will see this message of successful installation now to verify the installation let's print all the libraries that are installed in the current activated environment so we will run the command which is pip space list so this will list down all the packages which are currently installed in the current activated environment and here we will see this pypdf2 library which has this particular version now we will write a small python script which will verify whether this pypdf2 library is installed properly or not so first we will create a python file and for that we will click on this new file icon here and now we will give the name of the file so let's say this is main.py so this main.py file is created under this pypdf2 project folder now in this file first of all we will import the pypdf2 module so we will write import pypdf2 this one and now we will also print the version of pypdf2 so we will write print then pypdf2 dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore let's now save this file using command s and now to run this program we will again come to the terminal and write python space and now we will give the name of the file so which is main.py for us so the script executed successfully and we got the version of pypdf2 which is same as this one 
so now let me know in comments if this video was useful to you and make sure to hit the like button so the pi pdf2 library is installed properly and we can use this for our python projects now Thank you.